All right, yeah, Khan, go ahead. Continue the scripture function. All right, uh, I'm starting at verse 2 again. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, you rather trust in Babylon, this Babylonian system, than rather trust in the system of Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's right. Continue. Verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Yeah, it's going to be a stumbling block to you, man. You thought Esau had your best interests at heart. You're going to see that, damn. You're going to see how it's going to be a shameful thing unto you, man. But the scriptures talk about those who trust in Yahweh Shemel Shai shall never be ashamed nor confounded. That's right, man. You know? That's why the scriptures say, warn to him that, that puts his trust in man. Roughly paraphrasing, you That's know? That's right. And, you know, another thing that I, I know, you know, especially coming into this walk, man, when you dealing with how about Shemel Shah, it might just take a little longer, man, than what you expected. But at least you know, you, uh, you, you know, at least you know you got how about Shemel on your side, man. You know, you go trusting in E, you know, you might get it right then and there. But, again, you're not supposed to, you know, put your trust in the pharaoh in Egypt, man, because why? Scripture said it's gonna be your confusion, man. Right. So you might as well just take, you know, even though it might take a little longer, man. At least you know that you with your how about Shemuel Shah. Yep. And it's not, and it's not a hard thing for the Lord to bless you in a moment or in an instance. Huh. You know, but the Lord, the Lord has us go through certain things so that we can grow in the spirit. That's a part of catching hell, so that your right. spirit grows stronger, man. Huh. You're either, you're either your spirit gonna grow stronger or you're gonna wither down wither away you know mm. but we pray that we our spirits grow stronger and we're made as those precious gold vessels unto Yahweh Shemel Shai mm. tried in the furnace of adversity all right because that's the thing we're gonna go through problems regardless right. so you know what I'm saying you're gonna catch hell even if you weren't in the truth even in the world you were still catching hell you know it might have been in a different fashion but you were still catching hell in the world mm. you know You've never been times in the world where you probably was a little a little behind on rent or so on and so forth okay now that you're a little behind on rent in the truth all of a sudden y'all by Shemel Shai is so horrible now all of a sudden right you know but no it's a thing of endurance man uh, you know uh, but uh, what's the next one Isaiah 31 uh, no I think we got them you got uh you got 1 and 2 and 9 and 10 right yeah come and then you got we went through this too. Yep. Right? So that's everything? That's everything. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we just read this uh, Isaiah 31 real quick. We'll close out with that, Lord. Okay. You got it? Well, I was going to have it. Okay. Fine, fine. Right. I've been doing most of the talking. All right. <laughs> Isaiah 31, <clears throat> verse 1. Yep. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1, and it reads, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Mm -hmm. Woe yeah. to them that go down to Egypt for help. Egypt also represented America. So you go to this place for help, woe unto you, man. Oh. You know, like, and now, like, for instance, you know, if you uh, get welfare checks from Babylon, you get a stimulus check from Babylon, just because you accept that, you take those payments. Are you wicked? No. Scripture say, use the world, don't abuse the world. So there's nothing wrong with that. But at the, end of the, at the same time, you have to understand that, okay, regardless if I get a stimulus check or not, you know, I don't trust in this place. That's right. You see? Go ahead. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Mm -hmm. And in horsemen because they are very strong. Well, we got the strongest military in the whole world. You know? <laughs> A lot of people, they, that's why they trust in this place. Oh, we got the strongest military. Ain't nothing going to happen to us. Yep. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, mm -hmm. neither seek the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shah. That's plain. Whew. That is plain. And, that's, that's, and that sums up two thirds of our people, man. You know, they rather put their trust here. You know, they don't look. They, man, our people don't look for Yahweh Bashem Shah, man, at all, man. You know, they don't. Man. And that's why it's gonna be their confusion in that day, because they didn't seek the Lord. Right. You know, so the main point of this uh, lesson through the spirit, all right, Jake, man, tighten up, man. You know, <laughs> it's plain and simple. Right. You want to go and trust in everything else except for the true power source, man. The Most High is the real plug, man. Right. You know, he's the real connect, you know. But you rather go and, and, and trust in Esau, who the Most High created. Right. Most High created Esau. Why would you? That's the thing, like, why do, you know what I'm saying? You're going to worship the creature more than the creator, man. 
scriptures tell you that in Romans the first chapter, how they worship the creature more than the creator. That's true. You know, you want, you want, you, you, you sold out for one water bottle, all right, when you could have just went to the, to the, to the, uh, to the Zephyr Hills Valley. You know what I'm saying? Could have went to the stream. Exactly, man. Living waters, man. Everlasting living waters, man. Right. Oh, the scriptures talk about in Jeremiah, I think it's Jeremiah 17, how they have forgot the living waters, man. Our people forgot the living waters, man. You know, you forgot the uh, uh, the, the, the knowledge and the wisdom of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You have forsaken the living waters. That's why we're liking under dry bones, man. Mm. You know, somewhere in Jeremiah 17 where it says they have forgotten the living waters. Let's see, uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 13. You want to read it, folks? All right, Con. This is uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 13. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Mm, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Anyone who has forsaken Yahweh shall be ashamed. That's right. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. Meaning you're going to die on this earth, man. Our scriptures talk about our names being written in heaven. Our name, like Yahweh Shah said, I am from above, you are from below. We want to be written within this earth, man. Um, Go ahead, Bible Shah. All right. <clears throat> because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. Ooh. That's you know? it. And that goes back on to um, the, that Daniel, the 12th chapter, man. Some will be to everlasting Lasting. life and, or um, everlasting. everlasting shame. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. That's right, man. You know? Damn, and two thirds, you're gonna have that everlasting shame and contempt for a long, long, long time. You're gonna be ashamed how that you sold out on this side rather than staying and keeping your integrity for your how about Shah. That's right. And that's really the point, you know. So, you know, I guess we can close out with that, huh? Uh, you know, so. Hey, with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, great Muslim, never well, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel, Shalom, and the Baba Ball. Shalom.